working with the Ukrainian ambassador to the United States, Oksana Markarova. Uh, ambassador, thank you so much for joining us. Our heart goes out to all the people of Ukraine right now. And as you know, we're seeing these massive explosions in your capital of Kyiv tonight. Uh, after Ukraine was able to hold off the Russians from Kyiv at least last night, are you expecting an all-out Russian assault? Well, yes, thank you for having me here, and thank you for spreading the truth about what's going on. And as we speak, uh, you are right, there is a massive assault on Kyiv, but on other cities as well. So we uh, are preparing for this night, but as the two nights, three nights before, uh, we are very resolute to defend our country, and there will be next day tomorrow, and Ukraine will continue defending itself. I'm sure you will. Uh, what are you hearing, Ambassador, uh, from uh, your, your leadership, uh, the government in Kyiv, the Ukrainian leadership, about the current battle? Well, there are reports about uh, heavy assaults in Vasil Kyiv. It's a small town, a suburb of Kyiv. Uh, also, there are sounds in Kyiv. Of course, we will have more information later on as the situation is evolving now. But again, it's uh, not something new. This war, the full-fledged war that Russia started in Ukraine, is going on for the past three days. And we see that they are targeting not only military, as they uh, lie publicly on uh, the Russian TV, but essentially targeting many civilians objects, ho ho hospitals, uh, orphanages, uh, just simple apartment buildings. I mean, it's, it's horrifying. President Zelensky, your president, says uh, Ukrainians are never going to give up. Is Ukrainian resolve only strengthening right now amid this massive Russian attack? I have to tell you, you know, that the, the spirit in Ukraine is very strong. So, yes, we are very peaceful people. We never attacked anyone. We did everything possible during the past eight years after Russia attacked us in 2014 and illegally occupied Crimea and some parts of Donetsk and Lugansk. Even though we had all the legal rights to return them, we never planned any offensives, and we only used diplomatic tools together with the United States and all of our friends and allies to return, to restore our territorial integrity again peacefully. Uh, but we don't have any other home. We will defend this one. So you see that it's not only the president who is courageously staying in Kyiv with our people. It's not only government. It's not only armed forces who we adore and respect. It's not only police and everyone else, but ordinary Ukrainians who went organized uh, through territorial defense, but just on the streets, you know, stopping the enemy. We all are defending our home. Ambassador, are you getting all the support you need right now from the U.S. and the other Western allies? We are getting a lot. Uh, I'm very pleased that now, unlike in 2014, we have very strong anti-war coalition and that U.S. is uh, showing exem exemplary leadership in this process. It's uh, now, you know, dozens of countries that support us. We are getting a lot of the support, but of course we need more. Uh, you know, we are defending from the enemy, which is much larger and uh, th with, with much larger military. So we, we need additional support, of course. Ambassador Oksana Markarova, thank you so much for joining us. We'll stay in very close touch with you, and we'll certainly continue this conversation. Appreciate it very much. Good luck to you and all the people of Ukraine.